In today's video, I asked artificial intelligence to give me over 20 pro tips, with the first 10 being directed towards beginner, beginner, beginner to intermediate players, and then the second set of 10 being a little bit more focused on intermediate to expert level players. Like there's tips here that I never even thought of before. I, I, I'm not even capable of thinking of. But yeah, artificial intelligence is getting insane, and this video is a pretty good demonstration of why. All right, so when talking to AI, the most important thing is the way that you word your questions. So I gotta really think about how to word this properly, and we might have to go through like a couple iterations to get it right. So I think the first thing we'll type is something along the lines of, I mean, we can just start super basic and just be like, let's see what they say with this. I, I'm gonna start basic. And I, I, it still blows my mind how fast, like all those things get typed out. Like this would take me forever to think of. And then AI just generated it based on my question in like three seconds. All right, tip number one, use an appropriate sensitivity setting for your play style. Oh wow, these are already starting really good. I mean, that's obvious to a degree, but yeah, I 100% agree. If you're an aggressive player, then you should definitely consider either having a higher sensitivity or maybe playing with Excel. I play on a tablet, so I don't use acceleration, but I understand that phone players sometimes feel like they need it. I've made a video talking about sensitivity in the past, but yeah, absolutely. Make sure your settings or your sensitivity matches the way that you play. Play the objective and score points for kills. Yeah, I don't know. That one's kind of... I mean, yeah, play the objective, of course. Okay, number three is use cover and move around the map strategically. Now this one seems like a no brainer for anyone that's played any shooter game for enough time, but it is often overlooked, especially by newer players. When you're moving around the map, you're always trying to bounce between powerful points you're not just you're not like okay here's a here's b i'm just gonna go from a to b when you want to get or when you want to move from a to b you want to be bouncing between all these points in the, in the middle that are setting yourself up for success in gunfights and the way you set yourself up for success in gunfights is utilizing cover and head glitches whether it's cover where you know you're you're peeking around a wall and you're only showing you know this half your body or using uh like a box head glitch um like on standoff or whatever whenever you play you always want to be again moving between these head glitches and power positions as much as you possibly can so that anytime you get in a gunfight or most of the time you get in a gunfight um you'll already be in the best position possible to win that gunfight number four is make sure to use a good gun for range accuracy and power but yeah i mean use use meta weapons uh i mean obvious number five utilize the best perks to give you an edge in battle same kind of thing as number four just make sure you have a loadout that makes sense uh check out you know pros on youtube uh other youtubers just content in general number six is use a headset to get an advantage of hearing opponents before they spot you also like kind of a no-brainer but i do see people that play with no headset and especially if you're playing in like a mode like s and d where it's so slow and like every little advantage you can get especially you know hearing where people are um is is so important that yeah i don't know if you're not using a headset or headphones and you like never have try it <laughs> i don't know what else to say there's not a whole lot to explain with it Seven, practice with different weapons to find the one that fits your play style. Yeah, I think this is good. If you're a kind of player that is always using an AR, uh, which may kind of make sense like right now with the Krig being as meta as it is, but definitely try like the different classes of weapons. Um, this is also just good for, you know, having more fun with the game. If you're constantly sticking with the Krig, then you're not gonna have the, the fun and diversity of playing a game that has all these different weapons and all these different play styles. Like, you know, running around quickscoping is like the funnest thing in the game for me. So I couldn't imagine just always being an AR player. That'd get so boring so quick. Uh, running around with a shotgun, also really fun. Playing slow with a sniper is fun. Try to figure out how to play each weapon the best way possible and like make that a challenge for yourself. And I think that's a good way to really grow your skill set because then you'll kind of understand how different players play. Uh, the more you play as a slow sniper, the more you'll understand understand like where snipers might be because you played that position and you're like oh I, I would be here so I'm gonna look here because there's probably a sniper oh there he is and then you kill him because you got the, the jump on him because you were ready for him so number eight is take advantage of your surroundings to find good positions to shoot from this is literally number three uh, I don't think I have to elaborate on it just don't be afraid to contest other players for those positions number nine is improve your aim by playing against bots and other players <laughs> your aim will get better the, the more that you shoot your gun is what that said I don't know whatever number 10 have fun and don't get discouraged if you don't get the results you want right away this is actually really true and this applies to all things in life this is a number 10 tip for literally anything in life just make sure that again you're having fun and that kind of goes back to what i was saying before about trying different uh play styles different weapons and all that because then you kind of have a goal it'll be more fun to know that you are working towards certain things and you can kind of like track your progress i guess just be more coherent of uh that those 10 tips are really good i kind of want to see some more um but I gotta figure out how to word it so I don't get the exact same 10 again. Let's say these 
Tips were great. And I know it's AI, but it's still good to be nice. All right, let's see what it says with this. Number one, utilize killstreak awards to get more out of your victories. Um, yeah, I think that's a good tip. I think that uh, a lot of intermediate and maybe nearly expert players maybe don't get the most out of their kill streaks. Specifically, I would say the the streak that's used the most to get wins, I would say probably is an advanced UAV because vision is everything. And specifically, advanced UAV vision is like if you know how to play it, you can't die. Like you just can't. So I would say, yeah, using an advanced UAV and then using streaks that will get you to an advanced UAV and also the uh, perks as well. Um, I'm not talking persistence. I'm talking hardline. I'll check out other pros and see what they're using or other YouTubers. Number two, take the time to learn the maps and the best places to hide and shoot from. Yeah, no, 100%. Learn the maps. Uh, you're going to do this by not only playing more, but just like now that you've watched this video and heard me say this, really try to focus on when you're moving around the map, thinking about what positions were the best for you. Like if you get in a position on the map and you're like, oh, this, I know how to play this spot perfectly. Like I'm doing really well in this spot keep a mental note of that and then spots where you maybe die more often just kind of like be, be keeping track of that and learning uh what spots are best for you to play uh, number three try to get a good team composition with players that complement each other yeah no absolutely uh this is easier said than done uh i'd say like discord and twitter and all that is great i think that's where the cod mobile community is really active facebook for especially uh Garena players yeah i mean th that one i can't elaborate on too much but if you have if, if you can kind of find players that suit each other well what that means is like not having a team of five obj players i mean there's, there's different roles and all that but uh yeah if you just have a diverse uh team it'll it'll suit you the best Learn how to use and counter various perks. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna kind of skip that one because I have nothing else to say about it. Number five, take advantage of weapon attachments to customize your weapons, obviously. Build the, be uh, the best weapon that you possibly can. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, uh, check out content on YouTube. Number six is use the minimap to spot enemies and plan your attacks before engaging. This will seem obvious to some players. It it'll seem obvious to everyone, but not everyone does it, I feel. I would actually say if you're a person that doesn't look at the minimap much right now, what I would start doing is looking at the minimap too much. And then you, from there, you'll probably start dying because you're looking at the minimap and you'll kind of adjust and get to that sweet spot. So like if you're here not looking at it enough, start going here, looking at it too much, and then you'll kind of learn where that sweet spot is for you. It's hard for me to describe right now because this isn't a video dedicated to that. This is a tip I just saw from an AI, but yeah, I think that's a good way to approach it and improve uh, with your, your map awareness. Number seven is practice the different strategies with your team and learn to communicate effectively. I'm not gonna elaborate on that one. Uh, again, it's probably pretty niche. I think most people will play solo queue or just with their friends or whatever. They don't care about building a crazy team. Uh, but yeah, obviously it's important to, to develop strategy and communicate. Number eight is take the time to practice with different weapons and find the one that fits your playstyle best. This was uh, already said earlier, so we'll skip. Uh, number nine, adapt the enemy's team, adapt to the enemy team strategy and adjust your playstyle accordingly. I think at this point, you're probably using a lot of mental energy focusing on the things we've talked about before. I think this one is a really complex tip and it's it's very important, but it's just hard for me to explain because I'm not a pro and I think this is a little past my expertise. Expertise. So I don't know, maybe maybe we'll get a separate video or, or talk to pro players about uh, stuff like this, but uh, I'm not gonna elaborate on it right now. Number 10, learn to be aware of your surroundings and anticipate your enemy's movements. Super, super important. Again, hard to elaborate on, I feel, though. Learn to be aware of your surroundings. How can you learn to be aware of your surroundings? Be paranoid <laughs> that someone's in every corner everywhere, and then you'll be definitely aware, aware of your surroundings if you're checking every single corner because you're paranoid. I don't know. I don't know how to elaborate on that one other than just kind of keep it in the back of your mind that like you should always be looking and checking places and thinking of the most likely places that players could be, which also kind of goes back to the adapt to the enemy team strategy. If you, you know, players will, will have a play style. If you can pick up on people's play style, you'll know how to adapt yours to counter them. Very advanced concept, but something to at least, again, have in the back of your mind. And then again, you'll be able to anticipate your enemy's movements because of this. This AI did great, honestly. These were amazing tips. And I think I was actually, I didn't think they would give better tips, like tips that were uh, designated for, you know, intermediate, nearly expert players. But these 10 were definitely levels ahead of these uh, beginner tips that we got at the start. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and call it right there. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to drop a like and a sub down below if you did. Ton of COD Mobile content coming out very soon throughout January. Should be doing around 20 plus videos. Uh, yeah, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.